Hey, what's up? It's Jason Hamburg. So the idea that I wanted to talk about today, it's less of a specific tip and more of just kind of a, a thing to think about when you go out riding um, that will ultimately make you better. And that is the idea of practicing not putting your feet down, practicing doing sections with no dabs, as we call it, kind of like that trials mentality, kind of hardwiring your brain to try to keep your feet on the pegs as much as possible because when your feet are on the pegs uh, you're putting weight into the bike into the rear tire and you're creating traction so um, this morning before I left I kind of knew where I was going to ride and I had an idea to try to ride a particular section without dabbing and so that's what I'm going to work on today <laughs> going terribly. Ice is really weird where, yeah, I mean, it, I guess it's just like dirt, right? If you don't know about dirt, you think all dirt's the same and it's not. And today is like, I thought it was warmer than it was. So it, it definitely doesn't, the, the studs aren't biting in as much as you'd like. So I was, I'm definitely getting more spin than I was expecting. So I'm stoked to be able to get through that section like I did. Super stoked. So I'm probably going to pair this video with the downhill video that I did just the other day so I can get something that's a little bit longer. YouTube seems to like longer videos. So congrats. We get a no dab slash how to improve your downhill descents video. Today I want to do a video that talks about going downhill. What I want to get at is kind of some of the things that I think about when I'm descending. But like we never really talk about being efficient going downhill or being able to go downhill fast. Um, and it's a really great place to make up a ton of time without expending a ton of energy um, if you're like concerned about trying to get faster. So I used to not really be too concerned about going downhill fast. And then my buddy got into riding and he was like a really good mountain biker. And everywhere on the trail i was way faster than him and then as soon as we would get to downhills he would just like check out and it was just he was bringing so much of what he knew from mountain biking over onto this big bike and um yeah i think some of those principles kind of apply and when you see it's like anything when you see what's possible all of a sudden then i was like oh well that's that's how fast i should be going downhill you know like i shouldn't i shouldn't be going as slow as i am so I'm gonna talk about a couple things. Kind of got like a little bit of a downhill here. Um, you can see it like goes down woo, into the valley and then just starts right up here. So um, yeah, it's all downhill from here is what they always say. Oh. 
one of the things you want to focus on at kind of the start of any descent is the fact that you need to kind of judge how long is this descent, how steep is this descent, how technical is it, and then what does the run out look like. Um, and you kind of take those variables into account as far as how you're going to approach going down this hill. If you have something that's super steep, technical, and there's like a terrible run out, really, really try to do your best to control your speed right from the very beginning. Because as soon as you get going and you start to build that momentum, you're going to lose the ability to slow yourself back down. So try to focus on really, really controlling your speed and practice, like take time out of what you're doing to practice slowing down and or even just like stopping on a hill. Because if you can learn how to do that and be controlled while you do that, then maybe you get yourself into a position where you're unfamiliar with a trail, you're unfamiliar with a certain downhill, and you all of a sudden are like, damn, I'm going way too fast. Because you've practiced that ability to slow yourself down and kind of regain control if you lose it, uh, you're gonna be able to, uh, yeah, kind of get yourself out of some sticky situations because you can definitely get yourself into a world of hurt if you uh, get going too fast down a hill and you kind of just are out of control. So tip number one, really control the speed uh, coming over the crest of any descent. Know what you're getting yourself into and uh, practice trying to be able to slow yourself down and regain control at any given point. That's what I mean by being able to slow down. It's all about front brake, keeping your weight back, and uh, yeah, being able to stop yourself on hills like this is very valuable. When you're doing these descents, you're basically kind of thinking about locking your arms out, not all the way, but enough that you're able to kind of support your weight with your arms. And then you're getting your ass as far back as you can get it. I mean, obviously this downhill is like very mellow. Um, if there was something a lot steeper, you'd probably be able to see, you know, that getting your butt back way further. But the same kind of principles apply. If you come in and you just are thinking about having your foot on top of the peg, that's fine. But on a downhill, you're trying to use this back edge here and kind of get your weight against that. And by doing that, it's gonna allow you to hold yourself up um, and back rather than feel your weight kind of sliding forward. Fuck man, my autofocus is driving me insane and I'm so mad. Yeah, I feel like this isn't even specific enough to really be of benefit, but maybe there's something in here that you have never really thought about. Um, and if you did find it valuable, cool. Let me know. Uh, also let me know if there's other things you want me to kind of talk about or go over. Uh, if you think that this format works. Um, so yeah, get a couple more clips and then I'm going to go and try and sweat because it's the end of the day, I'm losing light and I want to be tired so I can drink a beer after. Until next time, thank you.